Hi everybody, hope you're all well. Um, thank you Bill Birch for your um, recipe request for festive bakes. Um, and I really like the look of this, uh, A, because it's got two or possibly three of my favorite items, brie or, or maybe camembert, but I've got brie in this case, cranberry sauce, which I luckily I've actually just made, so I nicked some um, from that, that uh, the thing, well, that was in the last vlog. Um, and stuffing all in a, all wrapped in a pastry I mean honestly how how nice that it looked delicious so I thought well thanks Bill I'm gonna definitely give that a go and obviously we're approaching Christmas so why not do it now and I've got all the ingredients woohoo <laughs> so thank you Bill Birch I really appreciated that so with that in mind come and have a look at the ingredients so I've got two packs of um, puff pastry. I may not need two packs, but I'm not 100% sure, um, you know, quantity wise. I've got a little bit of spinach for a little bit of greenery. Um, I actually, it was actually Sunday yesterday. And so I did, uh, I made some ready mix sage and onion stuffing and then, then reserved some for today, which was quite a useful way of um, doing it. Uh, the homemade cranberry sauce, um, courtesy of the last vlog, I will put a link in the description to that, but I really love making my own cranberry sauce. I do it every year, Christmas time. So that's a little bit of that. Some brie, camembert could be just as good. And I'm, I'm, this is optional, but I fancy putting sesame seeds on top um, after I've egg washed. So yeah, nice and simple really. Um, and hopefully, well with this combo, <laughs> I, I reckon it's gonna be pretty delicious. So let's get started and get crack get cooking quite frankly because I'm th there's people in the wings waiting to eat this <laughs> so I'll see you in a bit okay I'm just going to start by cutting out the squares effectively Okay, that one roll was enough to make five. I mean, the two of them are flipped over. Um, the sesame seeds are completely optional, but I fancy giving it a go, seeing what they look like. But I've left two um, without. And I'm also, I forgot to say, I'm gonna freeze one and then reheat it in the air fryer to see how they turn out from frozen. So yeah, that, that would be really interesting. So let's get these in the air fryers, the Kasori Dual Blaze and the Ninja um, Dual Draw. I, I want to see how they turn out for both drawers. It's very likely we'll have to flip them for the, maybe both, because I have lined the baskets with um, this paper, you know, this stuff. <laughs> right, let's get these in the, in the air fryers. See you in a bit. Lined, it's tricky doing it one-handed. That's better. three in there and hopefully I can fit two 
in the ninja. I'll have to come back and cook the the uh, uh, fifth one afterwards. So let's get these in. So I can only fit one in. Never mind. Draw two. Bake. We're gonna have 190 for 15 minutes. Um, I may well need to flip. We, I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. Bake. Let's just have a quick look. Lovely. Bake. 190 for 15 minutes. Ooh. See you in a bit. Right, just ended. Oh, <laughs> Oh, actually, I really like it with the sesame seeds. That's, that's nice. Right, this might need flipping. Yeah. Right, let's get this on before we check the kasori. Oh, wrong one. Oh, two. Bake. Uh, I'm just going to do it 160 for five minutes. Doesn't need to be as ferocious. Right, Kasori next. Oh, yes. I, I really love them. I mean, they look lovely without the ses uh, sesame seeds. I like the star. That's a really lovely look to it. So we, we've got to check if we have to flip these. We might not have to because of the paper. Well, that's a little bit of breakage there. Never mind. Well, I've turned them over. I wonder how I can stop that happening. Maybe I should have oiled the paper slightly, but I would have thought with it being, oops, um, what's the word? Greaseproof paper, it wouldn't have done that, but never mind, never mind. Right, five minutes at 160, whatever the Fahrenheit is, it will be there. See you in a bit. Cool, look at them. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy with those. I really am. Thank you, Bill. This is such a, they're lovely. And I'm definitely going to freeze one, which will be the end of this, the very end of this vlog. I'll just, uh, I'll, it will have to be a second taste test, see how it is. But obviously I've just made these, so I literally have to freeze one. And tomorrow I'll um, uh, reheat it and see how they turn out. I'll probably pick one that's the palest um, and then just see how it turns out tomorrow. But we're going to, I can't, so, you know, it will be at the end of this vlog anyway. <laughs> uh, as will the recipe will be pinned in the top of the comments and also in the description. But yeah, mm, delicious. Sorry for the thumbnail. <laughs> right, let's crack one open and see what's, what it's like inside. Right, let's have a taste test. That looks good. Right, yeah. Mm -mm. It's going to be hot, so, but, <coughs> I've got a flake <coughs> back in the throat, oh, oh dear, excuse me, oh, all the stuffing and the cranberry sauce. It's got melted, <laughs> oh dear, flaky, flaky. Um, so watch it when you eat it, because that, that hit my back of my throat. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> flake, very flaky, as the puff pastry would, but I actually really like the spinach. I wasn't sure about that at first, excuse me. Well, let's have another taste. I, I love stuffing, so this is really tasty. Mmm. Mm. Oh, we've got the stuffing uh, flavour of the cranberries, the sweetness of the cranberry with the kind of creamy melted brie or cam camembert would be stronger flavour actually. Um, and a little bit of greenery with the spinach. Really delicious. Oh. Mmm. Or oh, it's because you've got the kind of savoury sage and onion um, with the sweetness of the cranberry sauce is really lovely. Oh, I could keep eating that. They both for both air fryers, 
So with your, if you have an air fryer, it doesn't have to be a Ninja, if you have an air fryer that's just got the heated element at the top, just flip them after 15 minutes, flip for a further five, absolutely perfect. And I had to flip with the Kasori Jewel Blaze because obviously I'd lined it. Maybe if you didn't line it, you wouldn't need to, or if you cook directly, I might have to try that next time. Well, I'm going to carry on eating these. I try not to choke. Oh, tickly pastry. I will freeze one and then I'm gonna, it's going to be a quick, uh, quick taste test. See how they turn out at the end of this vlog. There's also the, the whole cost breakdowns at the end as well. Uh, but really delicious. Uh, I, will, I will definitely make these again. Uh, even if, well, cranberry sauce, uh, what could you use instead of that? I can't think at the top of my head right now. But if you, if, if you can, let me know. It doesn't have to be festive baked, but I really love that combination. A little bit of spinach, a little bit of cheese brie in this case or camembert um uh, the sage and onion stuffing and the cranberry sauce oh that's lovely well thanks everyone for watching and i'll see you on the next one take care don't forget at the end it's just if you want to see if you want to know how they are frozen how they are after being frozen watch to the end take care bye